Hi guys! While you're kiteboarding, your joints experience a big stress. If you luckily do not feel any pain yet, soon you will probably do. Today we're gonna be talking about necessary steps to avoid that and to prolong your kite life. High energy compresses your body when you practice powered up stands. Ride over power to hit the wood leaderboard or land while practicing kite loops. Ankles, knees, hip joints absorb enormous amounts of energy. Cartilage elements are getting thinner and you start to feel pain. A huge mistake here is to take painkillers like ibuprofen, naproxen, diclofenac. I've met a lot of people doing that. Today a lot of researches show that they accelerate the degradation of cartilage tissue, increasing the chance of joint disease progressing in the future. To explain it shortly, painkillers suppress the synthesis of prostaglandins, chemicals that cause pain. Unfortunately, the same prostaglandins are responsible for growth of chondrocytes, cells which normally are building and repairing the cartilage and tissue in your joints. So, if you already feel the pain, pay attention to proper joint maintenance. I bet you heard about chondroprotectors and probably tried some mixtures. But to complete the picture, take a look at the most substantial elements and, more important, proper dosages. The big catch here is that often they sell products with ridiculously low dosage of active elements, which makes them useless to take. To protect your joints properly you have to Provide enough material to repair the joint matrix Lubricate the joint Stop the inflammation And help the joint to regenerate itself Cartilage builders form all the inner structure of your joint tissue Collagen is very important among them It supports all the 3D matrix of the cartilage It is responsible for making it elastic Modern processed food is very poor in collagen 6 grams daily is considered to be a good support for anyone. 10 to 20 grams for people who exercise regularly. Remember, collagen captures a lot of water, so be sure to drink enough of pure water to avoid stomach and kidney problems. Next come chondroprotectors. These elements like chondroitin and glucosamine are used by inner joint cells named chondrocytes to rebuild our cartilage tissue. Chondroprotectors serve as a resource to normalize joint regeneration process. Nowadays, it's recommended to take 1,500 mg of glucosamine and 1,200 grams of chondroitin daily. Modern chondroprotector powder mixtures also contain MSM and hyaluronic acid. MSM has anti-inflammatory action. Its daily dosage is calculated to be around 1,000 mg. Hyaluronic acid is a very important component of joint lubrication system, so-called synovial liquid. Our joints have no blood circulation, so synovial liquid serves for transportation and chemical exchange inside of the joint. The recommended daily amount of hyaluronic acid is around 140 mg. Our last element for today, which cannot be put into normal powder mixture, is omega-3 acid, which exists only in liquid form. Omega-3 is very important because it helps your body to produce prostaglandins, which, as it was said above, help your body to rebuild damaged cartilage tissue. And again, pay attention to proper fish oil concentration. You should consume enough fish oil to receive about 2 grams of polyunsaturated omega-3 fatty acids daily in total. It's about 3 grams of purified fish oil. I recommend to take supplements mentioned above. In courses, of one month at least three times a year, during intense trainings and during your kite trips. Check out the description below for products I've tried on myself and complete sets of supplements I recommend basing on my own experience. I'd just like to point out one product that I really love. It's called Joint Vibrance. Super balanced, you can definitely use its nutrition facts label as a reference table, since all the dosages are very right. So, go on, create your own joint support program and let the force of healthy joints be with you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.